morning, friends. Today, it's beautiful outside. I'm gonna spend some time in the front yard. I'm going to turn this into this. And I'm starting right now. Okay, voiceover take 3500. Uh, just so you're not bored during this part, I thought I would speed it up a little bit and show you uh, me cutting out the front and back faces of the Little Free Library. Using a circular saw to cut the straight edges um, and the inside of the door, um, and then eventually in a moment using the jigsaw to cut out the corners uh, because the circular saw will not cut completely into the corner. Here we go, one, two, three, and done. Okay, so I just learned the voiceover tool on uh, iMovie. So uh, let's continue on with that. So here I am uh, gluing some boards and putting them on. These are the sides of the little free library. Um, you'll see that uh, that corner, you can kind of tell that it's not flushing down really well. Um, and so I end up clamping it in place so I could nail it. It's a good look for me sideways, I think. And I'm uh, gonna go nailing it. Um, here I am uh, putting the front face of the little free library on. And then nail that. And oops, should have had more of that on the table. Let's push that over a little bit. Continue on that. So this is the plywood box, uh, the basis for the whole thing. And with the two shelves, and then checking to make sure the window opening uh, is covered. Perfect. And then the roof, working on the roof, and the other side of the roof. And then here I am doing the dance of the air compressor hose. Painting the inside, you can see. And then the wash tub. So I'm pre prepping my. So I'm prepping this wash bucket. Uh, this is a wash bucket Jen Gra found. I um, can't remember where we got it. We got it at an estate sale or something, but we got it a while back. I'm using this as the base for the Little Free Library. Um, this post is actually from uh, my neighbor's uh, deck. I've taken it, cut it, uh, I've, I've uh, preserved the bottom. It's going to be covered in concrete and then possibly dirt. Um, I've put uh, some, I've uh, drilled holes in the bottom of the wash bin. Put some tube, uh, P, uh, PEX tubing, so that um, there will be holes for drainage. Um, I would like to um, fill this about, I'm going to fill this about halfway full with concrete, and then the rest I want to do some soil and maybe plant some succulents or maybe a vine or some other plants uh, to be underneath the little free library. So now I'm about to take this bucket, fill it with concrete, and mix it and pour it into here, and see you in a minute. Okay, so here I am uh, working on the concrete, uh, pouring, mixing, then pouring the concrete. It was a little too thick that first batch. Ran out, had to run back to Home Depot to get more and mix it really thin so I could pour it really easily. There we go. It ended up being really nice and really heavy. Okay, so I've gotten. Uh roof on. I put some black paper on so that it uh, gives it another layer uh, to keep water out. I've also put uh, the trim around it because I want the uh, cedar shingles I've made, cedar shakes I've made, to hang over that just a little bit. Um, I basically took some uh, cedar fencing, 5 8 by 3 and a half, and I ripped them long ways on my, uh, on my table saw. <laughs> Down to about a quarter inch, 
Um, they're not tapered, but I don't care about that. I think they'll still look cool. Um, and uh, I'm going to start putting shingles on. Okay, so here is the uh, really exciting part of nailing on the shingles. Um, see if you can see where I screwed up here, and I'll explain it in just a minute. So, in putting the shakes on, I realized about halfway through the long section that my shingles actually weren't doing what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to overlap enough so the water can't seep through. I had already planned to stain them and then put a like a sealer, like a complete like skin sealer, like a Flexol or something like that um, on it um, to protect, to give extra protection since there will be books in, the, in there. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I decided not to pull everything up and start over. Um, I just kept going, moving ahead. And again, I'm just going to stain them. And then once they're stained and they dry, then I'll put a sealer on it that will actually fill in all the, um, maybe kind of an epoxy. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but I'll figure something out. Okay, so I hope this doesn't look too weird, but I'm about to start clipping away some of the bushes for the, um, where I'm gonna put the little free library. This should be fun. Okay, so another speed through. Um, there was a lot more, this was just a big mess um, inside. There were probably 10 years of leaves inside that bush that I tried to dig out. And then uh, in leveling, trying to level the ground a little bit, there were just all kinds of roots from the silver maple in our front yard. But I got it done. You see me digging. Dug out some big uh, roots. And then here I am grabbing the 100 plus pound wash bin of concrete. I'm placing it. Yeah. I wonder where my back hurts sometimes. Boom. And here I am running out of time and light. Okay, it's already dark outside. Um, but I just couldn't wait to get this going. I've already put a few books in it. Um, but this holds a lot of books, apparently. So I'm going to go grab a few more real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got a few more books. I've got uh, Dean Carnassus, Ultra Marathon Man. Move that up here. Uh, it's Not Easy Being Green, Jim Henson. Up there. The Shakespeare Insult Generator. That's good for laughs. Oh, hi, just adding a few books to the library. Um, that was kind of dumb. But anyway, um, try to fill the library and uh, put some things in there maybe people want to read. Um, anyway, this is my little library. Um, I had a lot of fun building it. Um, I posted an Instagram about it. Um, it was uh, something that I wanted to do for a while and um, I got really inspired um, on vacation a couple weeks ago up in Washington, Oregon, um, and seeing some of the little, little uh, free libraries up there, then touring some of the ones in, in my area. Um, I was really inspired by um, the architecture in the Pacific Northwest, especially um, some of the tiny houses I saw and some of the karma uh, flower, uh, uh, oh my gosh, what are they called? The karma flower stalls. Um, that were along some of the roads were, were really neat. So anyway, here's my, here's our little, uh, little, little free library. So thank you for going on this journey with me, uh, installing, building and installing my uh, little free library. And I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Uh, please share with your friends. Um, please visit your local uh, little free libraries. Please take a book, please share a book, um, share your comments. Um, you can follow Little Free Libraries on Instagram. They're at Little Free Libraries. Um, and they also have a great website. Um, I'll hopefully have my little charter soon, um, next couple of weeks. Have a great rest of your summer and I will see you next video.